you can be this talented and be an asshole and be this talented and be nice, and I'm picking this person every single time. Every single time. Because who wants to do who, who wants to do that? So somebody comes and wants to work here at the greenhouse with me. Um, I mean, perseverance is important, and it's not like I'm screening people, like, ignoring them till I know that they come through, but, you know, I'm a busy dude. And so if I don't get back to you right away, it's not like it's personal or something like that. I might have just gotten 60 emails that day. You know, I don't have time to answer 60 emails. I got records to mix. You know, I'm, I'm in here, this is my spot, but I'm professional. You know, so when you when 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 you approach me, if you want to approach me about working, you know that professionalism matters. It's something I think I feel like gets a little forgotten in the internet age, where you know, because I have people who like will tweet at me, "Hey, y'all, want to come to the studio? You think I could work over there?" Like, that's, that's not gonna get it done. You know, because for everyone that's gonna do that, someone's gonna email me with the resume all touched up and nice and everything and the proper email and everything. And I'm gonna look at that person and say, okay, this person knows how to communicate with someone. So if I have a client who comes in the room, this person is gonna know how to act. And it's not about, I mean, about the slang thing or anything like that. It's just like the concept of how do you approach somebody? Because when you're in a position where, if you're an intern, if you're an assistant, if you're an assistant, you're doing a little bit more work, but if you're an intern, like, you're not coming in here to press buttons. You're coming in here to be part of the team, work with me, work with everybody else who's here, and also be able to be around clients who didn't really ask for you to be in the room. No one ever requests an intern. So if you're gonna be in there, you gotta be able to fit in the vibe and make sure that everything is going and, you know, it's notice things before anyone has to ask them about them. And it's like, oh, Where's my teacup? Oh, my teacup's empty. You know, I drink a lot of tea. You gotta keep that thing topped off. But if you're paying attention to that, then I know, okay, if you have to cut a vocal, you're gonna pay attention to all nuances of that vocal that we need to cut, right? That's the training program. Like, I'm not just hiring you because I need my floors vacuumed. I need the floors vacuumed. But if you can't do that, you can't touch my mics, right? If you can't set up a mic properly, you can't, record my vocal because I can't be confident that that's going to be done properly. So it's this kind of training program and that just starts from how you approach somebody. Um, but also like I'm a regular dude, you know, like you can come to me and talk to me a little bit. Like we can talk about the NBA all day. I'm a sneaker collector. Like you want to talk about Jordans? I'm ready for it, you know, and building these relationships because if I'm going to be in a small room with you 12 hours a day, you got to be cool because this room is too little and life is too short to be working with jerks. Can't do it.